Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to I Will Break Your Game featuring the Talos Principle. Today we are breaking the tower. All of it, because quite a lot of the solutions are actually pretty short for the, the floors. I mean, this one we've already pretty much broken. All you have to do is jump from that staircase onto this wall, and then make your way all the way across to the, um, the computer terminal. So there are five floors, uh, four of which are, are really quite short breaks, um, and then we have the the final run up at the roof of the tower, um, which we're going to do unassisted, we're not going to use Shepard's help for that. So the solution to this puzzle usually requires you, for a first step, to go and get the third cube from up on the shelf. I did it just by force of habit, um, but you actually don't need to do this for our solution, we're only going to be using two cubes, so if you're using these solutions, you don't even need to go and get that cube. Uh, I, I forgot that I didn't even need it. So, what we do want to do is take the fan from the first fan onto the second one, and then put a cube up on that shelf as normal. Um, take the second cube and drop it down so it lands under you. Pick up the first cube, drop that under you as well, and then you should be able to get a jump prompt onto this kind of very thin corner here. So you can actually get up onto the, the final platform using only two cubes. The next floor that we're going to go onto is the one that had me stuck for a while. This is the reason I didn't think I was going to be able to break the tower, but I watched a speedrun by a guy called Kite. I'll put a, a link to that speedrun in the description. Quite an incredible thing to watch. And he used this trick where you can actually jam a fizzler and then grab the jammer from the other side of the fizzler. Uh, I don't really get how it works, and I'm not very good at it, but I think the general idea is to stand pretty much dead center in the open fizzler. Um, and then to grab the jammer and immediately turn around so that the game pushes you in the opposite direction as the fizzler closes on you. Um, and yeah, it takes me quite a few attempts to get these right, but it is possible. So, there we go. And then this third fizzler, we don't need to actually take the jammer with us, so we can just jam that nice and easily. And that is floor three complete. Uh, floor four is quite a cheeky solution, I quite like this one. Um, what we're going to do is completely bypass using the recording machine at all. We're going to go up the ladder and grab the cube up here. Make sure when you're placing the cube, because we're going to be placing it quite close to the edge, make sure it doesn't fall off, because then you have to restart. So try and get the cube to as far overlapping this edge as you can without it being in danger of falling off. So try and place it less than halfway. Um, and then you're going to jump off. I used a sprint jump there, but if you sprint jump you will overshoot. Uh, so you want to use a normal jump, and then if you just kind of turn around the corner as you make the jump, you can just collect the, the keys that are flowing in the air there, and then use them to unlock the door, and that's literally it. So you place the cube, jump off it, and that's the puzzle complete. So this is um, floor five, this is the final puzzle. This one's a little bit more involved. Um, it doesn't feel like a break, but at some point in this puzzle you're expected to blow up the turret upstairs with that mine and I don't do it at any point so I guess to some extent it counts as a break plus at the end just for good measure I use the the fizzler jammer trick again uh, I appear to have a glitch here by the way that isn't actually being jammed that fan but it still has the, the jamming thing on it you can see that it is actually active so I'm not sure what happened there but uh, place that cube on the fan uh, then place the jammer on top of the cube uh, actually jamming the fan then head up this ladder start a recording, um, you need it, I don't know, about 20 seconds is fine. Um, and then we're gonna, while not in the recording, go through there ourselves uh, and take this fan off, drop down here and activate the fan that's now blowing the jammer and the cube up. Take these both through the fizzler that our recording is opening for us. We're gonna take the next fan off uh, so now we have these three elements all here. Uh, first of all, jam that turret and then begin another recording again. Um, uh, this one may, might want to be a little bit longer actually, maybe around half a minute. Um, so the entire time that we're doing this, our recorded jammer is going to be jamming that turret for us while we go and get ourselves up onto the next level around the corner there. So I've given myself 40 seconds there, that might be a bit much. But uh, first of all we will take this jam around and jam the fan on the floor there. And then we're going to place the fan on the fan on the floor. Uh, so that's now active but being jammed. Um, next we're going to place the cube on the button. But I placed it on the fan first by accident. So place the cube on the button, stand on the fan and then grab the jammer. And then we're on the next shelf. So um, again we're going to use this, this jammer trick. We only have to do it with the first fizzler. 
uh, while recording, I totally forgot that I didn't actually have to do this on the second Fizzler and spent ages doing this twice correctly. Uh, but I've cut all that out. <laughs> so you can just jam the second Fizzler here and then head straight through and that's the puzzle complete. So now we are heading up to the roof. So I'm aware that this has been done before. Uh, the unassisted runs are... Um, I think there may, might be a couple of them existing. I didn't, even though I know they exist though, I didn't watch any before doing this, so this is my solution. Uh, I don't know how similar this is to the existing solutions. Uh, hopefully there's maybe a couple of unique things in here because I'm pretty sure there are more, there, there is more than one solution to doing this. Um, so yeah, enjoy the, the final showdown with Elohim and Samsara. This is definitely one of the most fun things to break in the game. It's really satisfying to actually complete these, uh, this puzzle unassisted. And it's really cool that it was intended as well. It's a really nice thing for Crow Team to actually put in the game. So let's get going. First of all, we want to grab this splitter. Uh, next, we're going to come into the, uh, this little chamber here and we're going to connect uh, that connector up there, which is going to activate a fan that will come in useful shortly. Next, we're going to make a, a kind of a tricky jump round uh, into Shepard's little area here and go grab his splitter. Um, so we're not going to bring Shepard with us. We're going to go jump on Shepard's fan uh, over to here. Uh, this is the fan that we activated first, so this is already done for us. And we're going to put our spl splitter on this button here. Um, Samsara is about to be a, a dick and do that, but we don't need that. So we're going to grab this splitter and we're going to bring it back around with us. There's a button activating a fan just over here, so we're going to put this splitter on the button, get the fan on, head back and grab uh, the, the first splitter that we had, and then we're going to go and jump on the fan with this splitter. Uh, next we are going to activate a fizzler using a red laser, but we're going to use the laser down there because Samsara can block the laser that's actually provided for us above. Uh, come up this ladder and then go and grab the jammer that was hidden behind the fizzler that we've just unlocked. We're going to use this just to activate a button on another fan so that we can bring a cube with us. So put the, the jammer on that button there and bring the cube over to this corner just where we put the splitter down. Get this pretty close to the edge, as close as, as, close as you can manage. Uh, grab that splitter and then we're going to jump over to the platform where Samsara was. And now we're going to go and jump on Samsara's fan. So this takes us up to the, the next level, actually landing next to Samsara. So we're going to activate a couple of blue receptacles here. We're going to activate the one just across the way there, and also the one activating a fan here. Uh, that will blow a, a cube across, and we're going to jump on ourselves. Uh, Samsara kind of keeps locking and unlocking this, this fizzler. Uh, I did a couple of runs of this, and he never actually left it locked off permanently. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that's about. He was being very nice to me. Uh, hopefully he'll do the same to you if you are using the solution. So um, we're going to take a jammer with us up to the shelf and get on this lift. When we get off the lift though, we're going to send it back down. So stand at the edge of the lift, press the lever and then jump off straight away so you don't get sent back down with it. Uh, here is a member of Crow Team very kindly showing us what to do next. So send that lift down. We're going to jump all the way off back to here. Um, it's important that we take this um, I accidentally fell off here. You want to just drop it off the ledge, so that's, uh, but it's fine. So we're just going to come back up, drop the, the jammer off the edge here, and then make this jump down to the lift that we just sent down. So you can put the splitter here, and then we're going to make the jumps on these little shelves back to Samsara's platform. And once again, we are going to use the, the fan that's still being activated here, and jump back over to where we were before. Um, Samsara is still being nice enough to not block the laser that's activating that um, fizzler for us. So once again, jump on the box, remove the jammer, come back up to the shelf. Um, my box, for some reason, fell off from under me, so I'll try that again. Stand on the box, grab the jammer, and then jump over to this platform. Once again, you can just jam that fizzler, get on the lift. This time we don't need to send it back down. And we're almost done, so now we can bring up this lift that we put our splitter on. Um, so, we have a delivery coming to us here. 
Here it is, there's our splitter. And then the final thing we need to do is activate this red receptacle and there's a laser very conveniently placed down there that we can use. And that is the tower completely broken. This fan here sends us up to the end of uh, the game, the transcendence ending. So thank you very much for watching this episode of I Will Break Your Game featuring the Talos Principle. You were always meant to define me.